quick fixes and proper pacing. What do you gotta know about running, just in general? So I got some comments uh, from you guys uh, and just people in public. They wanna improve really quickly. They have a 5K or upcoming race and they need to get in shape quickly. Well, I have tips for you to do that, but I also have reasons why you don't wanna exactly do that or have this kind of training mindset all the time. Now, when I talk about running and building a progression and building a training program, this is something that takes years. To run that 1355k, it will take 10, 15 years of consistent training in your life. Now, a lot of people understand, everybody wants quick fix, quick fix in life, you know. They want the uh, the uh, quickest diet, they want the, the quickest uh, P90X workout, whatever. The only thing about these workouts, they, they're quick, but they don't sustain fitness for a long time. Once you stop, stop doing these uh, certain workouts, these routines, your body really doesn't adapt to it, so it loses fitness quickly. With these, uh, with some uh, certain uh, these gym workouts, you see them on TV, it's like they do all these uh, movements and stuff. Once you stop doing them, you lose a lot of that fitness really quickly. The reason why is because their program is always changing the stress constantly. If you don't stay out of certain stress, stress or training stress constantly, you're not going to your body's not going to genetically in sense evolve into holding that fitness for a long time. With me, I noticed this summer, I took a month off really from training. I took a couple weeks off basically running really one mile a day, no training. After that month, came back. After a couple days, everything was there. Felt refreshed. My runs were going too fast because I felt so recovered, but I didn't lose any fitness because my training is always progressing, always staying very, very the same for the most, for a long time. It's adapted into the body so you could take time off and not lose fitness. Now, for those, you want to run the fast 5K, you want to, you know, you have to get into fitness very, uh, shape very quickly. Well, here's a couple of workouts. You know, get a few weeks of running, get a few weeks of, of base, get on the track and do speed. You know, now this is not the best thing I want to say because you could get injured, right? You don't build up enough base, you're going to get injured. But if you re if you really want to, you know, get into that track, uh, eight by two hundred at your race pace, no faster than race pace, but at race pace. If it's a three k you're train training for, do you know about two miles or a mile and a half of you know do ten to twelve by two hundred at that race pace. Later in the week, you know, hard tempo, hard tempo run, good tempo run. Four miles, uh, about 30 seconds per mile slower than your 5K pace on the roads. Do them on the roads. Then coming back, you know, still running the, obviously run your easy run, running the mileage. Understand that the fitness is not going to last for a long time. You're not going to have a long-term goal. And what I'm really all about is in life, you need to set a long-term goal. There's no quick fix for really anything. Yeah, go do those workouts. Get in shape quick. Probably PR. But don't expect anything after from it because you're not going to hold that fitness for a long time. And you won't. You'll plateau. You won't reach a higher level of fitness further down in your training or in your life. To break a plateau, you have to you'll have to switch the training, but you have to understand to you have to be at a certain stress level at a certain period of time. And that's why I say for the people who are starting to running, build the mileage, build the base work, be in the base phase for about a year or two before you actually attempt any track workouts because you want to keep that stress to have your body adapt. So basically you do it for a long time and then you can take a couple weeks off and then you'd be like, wow, I feel great. I'm rested once in a while. I didn't lose any fitness because my body has adapted, you know, genetically to that level of stress. Now you come up there, you hit a little plateau. Now you add on a little speed workout. Now you do some tempo running or you do some even progression running. Even in the base season, that's why I say a lot of progression running is very good for you because it helps you switch the pace, helps you start running a little bit faster at the end, get used to the faster running before you go into interval workout. 
And th all this is really to prevent injuries. I've never been injured my whole career, and I don't plan on getting injured. Injured. I don't want to give people advice that gets people injured or that doesn't give the best benefit from the workout or the best health benefit. There's a lot of crap on the internet. There's a lot of crap that's quick fix, quick fix, quick. It's all crap. You gotta understand what crap is. If you don't, if you can't see what crap is, you're gonna be fed crap to you all the time and you're gonna be crap. Okay? So you gotta, you gotta learn. Come, you come over here, I'll answer as many questions as I can, but understand, understand this is not a quick fix training program. This is a program to get the 18, 20, 21 minute 5K runners down to a 14 minute 5K or faster in the next 10 years. If you're in high school right now, you have a lot of time to grow. If you're in college, you still have a lot of time to grow. And I wasn't that fast in college come, until coming up to my senior year when I really felt like I built up a lot of the base mileage and I was ready for more speed and more track workout. Because in high school, I wasn't ready for the speed all the time. At times we did, but I, it'd be like, I'd be trying to go faster and faster, but I couldn't sprint any faster than what I could. I couldn't adapt to the speed workout because I didn't have the, the base mileage or the experience of running before that. So if you build that experience and that base mileage before that, you're going to adapt to speed workouts faster. And as of right now, I could sprint to 200 faster than I ever did in my lifetime without really doing much of it. And I don't do many 200 repeats. Progression, build up the mileage, D don't let your ego c take care, uh, you know, carry away with you. Don't push your easy run 6.30 pace all the time because I barely do that. My fastest runs at the end of my run end 6.30, 6.20, maybe sub 6 pace, but I'm a 13.55 K runner. If you're an 18 minute 5 K runner, if you're a 20 minute 5 K runner, 8 to 8.30 pace runs and build up the mileage. You got to understand, do not overdo your easy runs because you could overdo them and then you 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 don't um you don't improve as fast because you don't recover properly and you, if you if you're getting into more speed workouts and interval and tempo runs you're not going to have it on your quality days basically when you're just running base mileage that's why i say you start slow in those easy runs and you pick it up and you test yourself to you see where you're at and my run for this morning is on strava so i'll show that to you how all my runs go yeah, never stop running, always inspiring, El Coyote Loco, Beth Page State Park.